What is up my good people? The name is Pixel Love and we are back again with another episode of Earthbound. In the last episode, we went to a gold mine. We got ourselves some diamonds? Not gold? Exclamation point. I mean question mark. <laughs> Not question mark. And I'm back here in the city. Although to be perfectly honest with you, I really don't know what else I can do in the city. However, I was told that who we'll try going back to the cafe if they say anything I've already read a lot of this <laughs> already I still don't understand why why those guardian um, guardian moles whatnot I still don't understand <laughs> why they still said I'm number three <laughs> I'm mid but what, whatever, I, I, sh I shouldn't think about it too much because they're dead. And this music really does sound pretty depressing. Alright, this kind of just seemed like a waste of time. None of them are really telling me anything that I've already not read. All I just know is that we've also got the Runaway 5. We also were able to fully get them out of the Tapala Theater. Now the question is, how the fuck do we get closer to Monotoil? Because all I know is that we need to get closer to this Monotoil guy. See what he's up to one on. And also that the department store is closed. That's the only thing that I know. Oh, would you look at that? The department store isn't closed. It's open! What the hell? Would you like to buy tickets for a top- Hell no! I just went there! Like to return something. Uh, no, I don't have anything to return. Why is there a mouse here? Somehow I feel like the lights will get turned off in this department store. I guess it's just a mouse's sixth sense. Well, why would it turn off? No clue what's going on here. Just gotta tragically come all the way up here. Hello there, would you like to buy some seasonings? Oh, come on! Look, I'm not a big fan of, like, this seasoning, like, guide or whatnot. <laughs> it's just, it makes everything so much more complicated. Not gonna lie. What do we have here? We have a whole bunch of thingamajigs. What do we got, what do we got? We got big bottle rockets, yo! Uh, let's see here, let's see. Jeff, you have way too many bombs. I'm selling them. I'll be right back. Alright, I managed to get Jeff a few more big bottle rockets. I ended up selling the bombs because, honestly, I don't need them. I really don't need them. A big bottle rocket will do just fine. And I also just realized that with Ness, I still have the contact lenses. And so I have it. Cool. And please move. Your attention, please. Would the customer from Onnet, Mr. Ness, please proceed to the office on the fourth floor? That was customer Ness, fourth floor. Fourth, wait, fourth floor office. Whoa! Can I leave? Thank you very much. And also, fuck, they took Paula! <laughs> It took me a while just to get that through, but they took Paula! And she's like, she's actually like, guns a-blazing and whatnot. She's one of the most, she's probably the most powerful in my entire, in my entire party. Um, here? What? Came to deliver my grandma's memento, the contact lens? Thank you. Thank you so much! It's our family tradition to keep things forever. Okay, I'll give you something as a reward. My socks that I use. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Really? What the fuck am I supposed to do with a pair of dirty socks? <laughs> I 
<laughs> they get so nauseous from the ripe odor. Alright, I'll use it on the jackass who took Paula. Dog, I didn't even get a chance to look through the entire department store. Also, what the fuck? The presents are... The presents are freaking enemies? Just... Wait a minute, it was a green, it was a green squiggly circle thing. Oh, I guess I can still attack first. Wow, that is not good. That is not good. Jeff is less than half health. That is extremely not good. And it's only 12 HP. Great. Fucking great. Um, there's no reason to beat around the bush. I just need to, I need to get to the fourth office floor stat. Ness, customer Ness, please hurry to Paula. I'm coming, dipshit. Oh, cool. <laughs> They're just waiting for me right then and there. Uh, yeah, screw it. I just rock their world. I know it's irresponsible of me to to use my PSI right now, but I kind of need a book it. These guys do hit like trucks. I don't have that much. I don't have that good of defense. Man, I really wish I didn't go. I really wish I didn't go down to the. First floor right away, cause I think I probably still would have found some good items, some good equipment before they fucking turned off the lights. Why does he get to attack first, bruh? Dead, 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 dead. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. This need to go fourth floor. That's not the fourth floor, is it? Ness, customer Ness. Oh. oh, we're here at the fourth floor. I thought we were at the third floor. Am I? Can I not count right? Can I not count correctly? Fuck! I didn't mean to use it on Ness. All right, everyone stack. Everyone stack. What? Gua, Gua, you finally made it. This department store is gonna be your grave. Gua, you'll be gone and you'll be burning and, well, you'll go to heaven. Whoops, no, 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 go back, go back. Not on my watch, bucko. Oh shit. Side fire. That's not good. Fuck, it didn't work! How did it not work? Fine. <laughs> Big bottle rocket time, Jeff. <laughs> He's just gone. He got wiped out. Damn, that's a lot of XP. Got wiped out. Even though you could beat me, Master Gygus will avenge me. At this moment, Paula should be... Monotoil. Oh. Ooh, I'm the chief now. Hey, Bucko, where's my coffee? <laughs> that just it? Cool, the lights are back on. Hard to supply that the game was cut off. I wasted my money. That's tough. Dude, come on! I need to find out where Paula is! I don't have time for your... Bitch... Ass... Whatever. I just need you gone. For the love of God. Please! Go away! Thank you. Hey dudes! It's summer! It's the manly time of year! Time for sports, guys! 
What can I do for you? So what will be today? Oh my god, you have terrible equipment. Fuck right. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> terrible equipment. I heard a sound like, Wah! and it was loud. I wonder if someone was fighting. Certainly, it's very dangerous living in the city. Jeez, you're telling me, chief. Trick yo-yo. Coin of defense. I'll take the coin of defense. Thank you very much. Guess you could buy it off of me. Is there anything I would like? Now, I'm assuming this trick yo-yo. Assuming this trick yo-yo is just gonna end up telling me that what calls it that it misses like 20 like nearly 25% of the time. So I will not do that. Instead, I will opt in for a teddy bear. Cause why not? I love me so I love me a good a teddy bear. I love me some stuffed animals. Unironically, actually. I'll take three of them! <laughs> okay, yes, sir! Yes, sir, let's go! We got a massive teddy bear on us. Anyways, where's Paula? Find out where she is. Hold on a minute. Is that a protractor? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I guess I'll take the gold bracelet for both Ness and Lloyd. How much was it? Oh my god, that was quite a lot. Jesus, that was a lot. I'm gonna have to use the ATM. When was the last time I used the ATM? I don't remember. I will like to withdraw. Holy shit, that's a lot of money. I will gladly take this amount of money from you. I will gladly take that. I can't believe I almost have a hundred K in that bank account. All because I was hogging like around nine thousand K since the happy happy village. Jesus, that was a while now, hasn't I still can't believe that's a lot of money though. Just for the gold brace, that's all it's a lot. That was not cheap. I was not expecting it to be that expensive. Only goes to show that things are just gonna get more expensive from here on out. And unfortunately, I don't think I don't think I'll be able to find a trick to gain as much money as I did last time. I just kept selling eggs back and forth. Even though I just said that it was pretty expensive, I'll take the um, bottle rockets if you don't mind actually the super bomb was just awful the bottle rocket did like was it what was it like two times the damage that it did uh, uh super bomb was just just mid no better way for me to say it other than they're just mid I am going to go head back to the hotel real quickly so I can get rested up with me and Jeff over here. Because we are going to be needing to fight like hell. But I doubt that monotone freak is going to let us get back Paula that quickly. And it's more cheaper. So let's go. I'll take it. I'll take it. Alright. Bitches, where the fuck is Paula? My god, the guy who lost to a fucking solitaire tournament. Come on, where's Paula? Alright, Pokey, you fuck. What have you done with her? Poor old friend, blah 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 blah. Still, I don't understand why so many people think that Pokey is like some sort of person of influence, some sort of person of power. He's just a fat piece of shit. That's all he is. Why are people listening to him? Why are people giving him power? 
He's nobody. He's nobody. He's irrelevant. And even then, why is Pokey trying to be such a dick to me? He literally heard from that B. He was like, he was like, you know what, Ness, you're gonna have to fight Guy. Guess you know you're gonna have to save the world. And Pokey was like, oh, I don't want to be a part of this. And all of a sudden, he decides to be a dick to me. Bro, the world is about to end, and the only thing you can think about in this situation is yourself. You can gladly fuck right off. Clearly nobody here is going to tell me what the hell is happening with Paula. So I'm going to have to go back to square one. Ugh, I gotta go I have, to have to go back to the cafe again. Because there's literally nothing I can think of to do right now. And I'm very upset that the guy who gave me his pair of dirty socks just did not work on that, <laughs> on that other guy whatsoever. Department sort of thing. Alright, I don't think I'm gonna get anything out of these other four, so I'm gonna have to talk to the bartender over here himself. Auto, come here often. Time to get up, and that can never happen. But Dude, come on! What, what am I supposed to do here now? Are, you gonna, are none of you just gonna tell me anything? None of you. Loud noise outside must be the. The what? There's a loud noise outside. Must be the seventh inning stretch. The fans are singing. Take me out to the ball game at the stadium. What does that mean? What's going on? What the hell? Seventh inning stretch. Where is that? Wait, whoa! What the fuck? A loud. No she said there was a loud noise outside. It must be the seventh inning stretch. Is that Everdred? Person lying on the ground. I wonder if he's gonna have to like the other way around. Talk with him. Alright, I guess I can't go the other way around. What the fuck's Everdred doing here? Not dead. Dang. Like seeing a corpse around here. Well, move then! Don't come in front of me. If you give me something, I'll let you have my spot. Will you give, give him something? What does he want? I literally have nothing that I could give it to you. Stay right where you are. Too short to see a thing. Fucking hell. Asshole! I have to fucking go all the way to the bakery just to get this dipshit something. Make me wasting my fucking time. My goddamn money. You know what? I'm gonna buy one of these. Just to see how fast I actually can go. And I'm gonna give him the most cheapest thing that this bakery has to offer him. Cause he can go to hell. Alright, let me go through. Let me go through. Let's go. We're going at the speed of light. This is fast, but I still feel like this was just a waste of a hundred dollars. Alright, I just wanted to do that so I could... So I could, you know, just have a little bit more time with the speed. Here, take the cookie, you little fuck. Yes, I'm sure. Everdre, what the fuck are you doing here? Yes, I can't see too well. Everything's blurry. You are Ness, aren't you? It's me. We met in Tucson. Everdread from Berglund Park. Must remember, I'm the best thief around. That car painter in Happy Happy Village is hiding something. <laughs> Strange. I stole it and thought about selling it in the big city. An old city wise man called it Mani Mani. It's a strange colored, dull looking thing. Oh. I'm in pain, and Monato tricked me, stole it from me, he tricked the thief, he wanted me out of the way because I know his secret, he gets his evil power from that statue, listen, I'll tell you only once, at the cafe, check behind the counter, <gasps> I said I'd tell you only once, but if you insist I'll tell you once more, <gasps> do you want to hear it again? <laughs> Oh, for fuck's sake, he actually is going to tell it to me again. Like, 
just get to the point. Anyways, you took the Mani Mani statue. The statue that the Argy I don't even remember his fucking name. Again, he's so fucking irrelevant. The, the, the shithead who lived right near the meteor in Onnen, he's the one who found it. So you took it from him. You ended up giving it. Or wait, no. I'm not that nice of a guy. Besides, I'm slipping away. Before I go, here's my last haiku poem. When on your way out, be sure that you say goodbye, then lock the door tight. This is my final request. Don't follow me. I must be on my way. Whoa, so long. <laughs> He's just gone. He just dips. <laughs> what was that? What the fuck was that? Go through? God, I feel sluggish as hell now. You should really go to the other hospital like other sick people. Whatever. I'm surprised he didn't tell me. He was like... Surprised he just didn't keep going because like I just kept mashing A. I didn't realize he ended. Yeah, so I don't know who stole who who was the first one to stole it. It had to have been either Everjet or Car Painter. One of them stole the Mani Mani statue. Anyways, dickhead, what's this thing that behind the counter that you're talking about? Behind the counter. Oh come on, don't don't give me this shit. Said behind the counter. Where's behind the counter? Hey, what the hell? What? What? <laughs> no, that's right. I'm the host here. The robot pump? What? What is going on here? Oh, he's just gonna blow up in like 3, 2, 1. Uh, but he didn't have the chance to do so, so... You're mid. What? Foresight? Are you still sleeping? This is Moonside. Yes, that's wrong. I am the hostess here. Yes is no, and no is yes. Makes perfect sense in Moonside. What do you mean, Moonside? What am I looking at? Did I forget to take my schizo meds again? What is going on? Welcome to Moonside. What? What come to soon might? Un will at me. Whatever. You understand all of this? No. Good. I'm glad you get. Fuck off! No, you don't. To tell you the truth, neither do I. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Abstract art. Finally, I get to pummel the absolute shit out of abstract art. I fucking hate it. You deserve this. Worst part about it is that I don't even have a fucking map over here. Come to Moonside. Welcome to Moon's Zip. Uh, whatever. Dog, oh, this is confusing. Look, just because I've been in Foresight for quite a while doesn't mean that I know what the city layout looks like. I use the map quite often. And can I please take this thing out? Thank you. I do not want to know what happens when it blows up. The only thing that seems constant over here is what he said. Yes is, yes is no and no is yes. Stay here too long, you'll end up frying your brain. Yes, you will. No, you will not. Yes, no, you. Dolly's clock? Am I supposed to know who that is? I mean, I know somebody who named Dolly, but it's probably not his clock. Moonside just looks like a very trippy Las Vegas right now, I'm not gonna lie. And everything is. 
Uh, the hotel should not be there. The hotel should not be there. This is what I hate about not having a map with me. The hotel was not there. Back in foresight. Dude, what is going on? Oh. Dude, what is going on? The Mani Mani statue is up ahead, but I'm going to stop you right here. Don't even think about getting past me because you aren't with a guy whose eyebrows connected and who also has a gold tooth. Cool, I guess. This is what Las Vegas is like then. Shit, just give me some lean in it. I'll have a banger of a time there. I will send you first and then you second to the hospital. And there's abstract art. Let me just uh, pummel the absolute shit out of it really quickly. Because fuck abstract art. Oh, why you hit the teddy bear? What did the teddy bear do to you? Oh fuck, this thing's drifting again. Yeah, so when I was trying to record, doing a little test recording, when I was trying to do a little test recording earlier today, I was trying to see if I do have like Joy-Con drift, and I 100% do. Fuck, I accidentally pressed it. No, I meant to say yes. God damn it. Yes, I was very concerned that my Joy-Cons have drift now. Because these things aren't cheap. Dude, I feel like I'm walking so fucking slow here. Just want to get the present over there. A night pendant. What does that do? Arm body. Oh! That's... That's a lot of defense right there. I think Jeff might need it more. I think he will need it more. Why does he have more defense than me? He had the exact same things. What the hell? There we go. Knight Pendant. It's a lot of defense for you, my boy Jeff. Just still figure out how I can get the fuck out of here. Still having difficulties traveling all throughout Moonside. Before the soup gets cold, we must care for Mani Mani. Before the nights gets rough steep, we must care for Mani Mani. Ooh. Way too much crap in my inventory. That. I'll take that. I still can't fucking move anywhere! I'll take that. Good, my dream. I'm really busy doing nothing, so I don't have time to talk to you. If you need something, talk to my partner right over there. See? You mean you can't see him? What do you mean? This thing? Oh, I see him now! <laughs> I actually can't see him! Come a real moon city and have it. Have you? Well, what do I do now? Here's your hat. What's your hurry? Dog, what am I supposed to do here? Looking for some kind of door? Well, you're not going to find one, so get out of my face. I don't have no patience when people interrupt me while I'm busy. Nothing. It's me. You can see me, right? Something interesting about you, so I'm going to follow you. Don't worry, though. If you get into a fight, I'll stay out of it. Oh, cool. Like, I need that. You can't see me, right? No, I can't. Yes, I'm not doing good at all. Dark Moon Hotel. No. I said no! <laughs> Don't you wish you had a gold tooth like mine? Give me a smile. Who am I talking with? 
Oh lord. Yo, don't you think my eyebrows rock? Check them out, they're connected. I need to go find that somebody guy who said he was going to wouldn't let me through. Here we go. Money money stretches up ahead, or I'm gonna stop you. Huzzah! You really surprised me. You're the man whose eyebrow whose eyebrows are connected and has a gold tooth. How about we dump these kids and go get something to drink? Yeah, go ahead, go take him. Like I care. Alright, dipshit. Don't do anything to me. I am I'm not monotoil. I'm not falling for that. Evil money, money. Just do this. I'll do a little bit of this. And we're gonna rock the shit out of this man, aren't we? Joke's on you! Teddy Bear didn't do shit to you! Uh, I guess there's no reason not to keep using ESI rockin'. No! No! <laughs> no, Jesus Christ! Can I please have the option to choose to confirm what I want to use? Jesus Christ! Dude, these big ball rockets, holy shit. They're on a whole nother level. Jeff is saucing up. Let's go! Both of my boys got leveled up! Let's go! The Mani Mani statue was, a was actually a device that created illusions. The illusion device was destroyed. Bastards, where's Monotoil? You're wandering around the warehouse with a vacant, far away look in your eyes. Were you daydreaming? No, gee, I was high. That's what I was doing. I didn't take my meds. God damn it. Oh, this is Apple Kit. I've come up with another wacky invention that I think has real potential. Maybe you won't, but anyway, it's called the Gourmet Yogurt Machine. It's many different flavors of yogurt. The only problem is, right now, it can only make trout flavored yogurt. Having the machine delivered to you via Escargo Express, it's coming. Neglected class. Hopefully you get it soon. Everything is. Uh, I, got, I got some problems. I gotta go. Bye bye. Oh my god. What a rippy, rippy time that I had in Moonside. I still have no fucking clue what, what's happened, honestly. Honestly. I kinda don't care at this point. Because all that matters to me is that I I basically destroyed that Mani Mani statue. I beat the shit out of it. And I need to go find Paula. That's what matters to me. Don't tell me this is what we call neglected class. Not a delivery man. I can't remember if we've met. Paula Rama just finished fasting. Now wants to meet you at the end at the west end of Dusty Dunes Desert. Okay, with lots of monkeys. My teleporter pay. Uh, I can't talk. Teleportation or whatnot. Yo, is that Talarama guy gonna tell me? Is he gonna teach me teleportation? Oops. Greetings. It's S Cargo Express in neglected class. I just got here from the Dusty Dune Desert. There's this sunbathing guy, and he told me I got a cave with lots of monkeys, orangutans. Anyway, he said, "Well, I forgot." Jeez, thanks. He forgot. He forgot. Skull emoji. I think it was to I think it was some weird machine to make trout flavored yogurt. Yeah, I forgot that Are you fucking kidding me? I'm not going back that way, so don't ask me to get the passage. I mean it's your package, right? So you You piece of shit! What the fuck? Maybe that thing I forgot is important to you, so have a good time in the Oh my god, are you kidding me? Hello, I heard you talk he just fucking comes in. Every everyone's just coming in, rolling. Trout flavored yogurt. I'm a maid who serves Mr. Monoto, and I'm looking for trout flavored yogurt to give to our special guest. If you know anything about it, please tell me. I've been searching and searching, and she's gone searching and searching. 
You tell me I have to go all the way down in the desert because this Talarama guy, this guy who didn't tell me shit, all of a sudden is just like, yeah, so I want to meet you now. And also because you lost the fucking machine there. Fucking hell. This man really wanted me to go all the way down to get my fucking package. Because he's too neglectful to fucking give it to me. You're, dude. This is your job. You're supposed to give me the shit that I need, or at least what Apple Kid told you to, to do. And you're telling me to go get it? I, I don't want to sound like a Karen, but like, I need to talk to a fucking manager here. You're not doing your job! Anyways, I have a bunch of food crap once again that I should probably just sell off. Realistically speaking. I kinda wish I had more big bottle rockets, but you know what? I'm fine with what I have. I meant to press. Fuck! No! <laughs> Luckily for me, I have time control powers. Which means Moonside was a lot more easier than if, it, than if I was to do this without it. Because goddamn, I cannot imagine the headache that it would be for me to just go actually I'm not gonna sell it, it's better that I have it here. I cannot imagine what the headache it would have been that I, just going on Moonside without my fucking time travel abilities. Like seriously. Anyways, I think I'll leave it here for today now. If it was a shorter episode, my bad, but Moonside was just I would I would probably say uneventful but it it was just confusing all right it, it took me a lot of time just to understand what was happening around anyways my name is pixel love i'm into mario why not and i will see you guys in the next episode take care everybody